All right, Edward Pivos with M Live, and I am here with actor, comedian, musician, triple threat, <laughs> Craig Robinson, and we're at uh, Mark oh. Ridley's Comedy Castle here in Royal Oak. There's some water. <laughs> He's got like five shows this weekend, so you better uh, hydrate. Uh, welcome, and you've never been on this stage before. Have you been, you know, you're from Chicago. Have you been to Michigan? Did you vacation in Michigan? Do you have any connections to the state at all? I have been to Detroit several times. I played, uh, when All Jokes Aside was here, uh, the Black Comedy Club, that they, there was a sister club in Chicago, but that, Chicago was the original, and they brought it out here. Um, and then they had to leave because y'all built those two stadiums, I guess, downtown. <laughs> uh, and then I, I was here, I played with, uh, I think, Def Comedy Jam, we were on tour one time, came through here. And then, uh, I think one time I went to, a, cu oh, a couple times, Grand Rapids, I would go, um, my my godparents, rest in peace, they would bring me out here and we go to this, something they had in Grand Rapids. And then uh, one time I was here, I don't know where I was, but I saw a black squirrel. I'd never seen <laughs> black squirrels. And I was like, oh wow, and it was it was cool. Michigan has a lot of wildlife, so. <laughs> but black squirrel, it was like, it was, you've seen black squirrels, yes. Rarely. But I, okay, think so I, you, I think I've seen one. Because you're not reacting. It's like, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's usual for you. You have seen them. You never see them anywhere else. Because it, it's, it's a black squirrel. Yeah. They don't, run around, they don't run around the city there in Chicago. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but welcome. Okay, so, you've been to Michigan quite a few times. Very cool. And uh, but I haven't speaking been here of probably, wildlife. Probably 20 years. 20? So. Oh, wow. Welcome yeah, back. So, okay. yeah. Well, speaking of wildlife, snakes killing it going to have a season two on Peacock. If you're not familiar with killing it, I don't even know how to describe it, dude. You're like a snake hunter. You're, dude, what do you, how, would, how do you describe it to people, this show that you are the star of? <laughs> killing it is a story of a, man who, of a man who would do anything to achieve the American dream, including becoming an invasive species vigilante. Vigilante, that's, that's accurate, okay. So you're gonna have a season two, that's cool. Now. Mm -hmm. I, your co-star, by the way, I she is hilarious. I remember her from Love on Netflix. Claudia O'Doherty. Oh my God, she's so funny too. Yeah, she's she's, she's very aware of her, of her. Uh, she's just aware of how of her timing, and you know, it's just a a, a nice nice fit for us to go in and uh, play together. Oh, funny show called Killing It on Peacock. If you haven't watched it catch up on season one because there's going to be a season two. Describe your stand-up. Um, you're a musician. You incorporate that into your routine, right? And and is, it, is there a lot of dialogue, then music? Is it just, you know, interlaced within the show randomly? How does that, how do you, what's your style? It's a forced reverse karaoke. No. Oh. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. See how? Okay, you forced, because I knew the lyric. Okay, I could finish wow. it. Okay. So that's it. Come on out in about an hour of that. All right, that's fun. <laughs> you get a lot of audience participation. Absolutely. Um, so I want to talk about The Office real quick, because how can we not? I mean, Daryl from The Office, one of, I mean, one of the greatest comedies of all time. You were a, kind of like a, not like a background character, but you weren't a main character, and then you kind of became a main character throughout the seasons. How did that kind of come about? Did, did you have to advocate for it behind the scenes? Did fans advocate it because you were so popular, uh, you know, on, on social media, things like that? Like, how does that just happen as the show progresses? And I'm glad it did because you're an awesome character on it. Thank you. That was, that's how they wrote it. There was no, uh, no fans were banging. <laughs> Come on down! <laughs> and so I was just back there like, hey, so you know. No, it was, uh, you know, uh, just a blessing and always a surprise to me. It was like, cause I went from, you know, a couple of episodes here to, it was like going to lanes. So how my career is going too. You get into the, you know, uh, I kind of want to do this lane and into, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to do this and, oh, I'm starting to get auditions. And I'm starting to pass the audition, you know, get to the call back and then I finally get the part. So it's all been a lane. So they started me off doing a couple of shows here and there and then, then I was half the episodes produced all the way up to uh, full all episodes. Yeah, there you go. Super blessing. Had it, and you got to do some music on the show too, which was cool. Have you heard anything about, I mean, everybody got asks you probably every day, hey, is there gonna be an Office reboot? Are you gonna be in, do you know anything? Like, do you know anything? I mean, I, yeah. I gotta ask. I August 17th. 
<laughs> yeah. Breaking that news right here. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the best breaking news ever. So the answer's no, but you gotta ask. I don't know. You never it's, know. No, I've not, there I've not heard. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Hot Tub Time Machine, by the way. Incredible, funny movie. I, I can never not watch a Time Machine movie, by the way. Like, something goes... And there's two of them. There's got to be a trilogy. Is there going to... Come on. Is there going to be a third? It's gotta Have be you a heard trilogy. anything? Wow, that's the best... Uh, you can always do a time machine That's the best movie. reasoning I've heard so far. Is that there's got to be a trilogy. It just makes so much sense. It just... It, you, you know what? Uh, Josh Hill uh, uh, has an excellent idea for, for number three. Number two was a surprise. You know, uh, one day they were like, hey, we want, we want to talk about this. We had dinner. Next thing I know, we made part two. So if part three is out there uh, uh, to get get done. You know your mouth to God's ears. All right. Well, I'll stay tuned and hope that in the future there is a possible hot tub time machine three. And you got to do some music in the Thank second you. one too, which was great. So they're they're all, they're, they're th oh by the way, I was a super songwriter. <laughs> yes. Just remembering somewhat what I could tell all the songs that I had known. Oh my God. Those movies are funny. Uh, lastly, oh, what? Tell people the name of your band. It is the greatest name ever. Craig Robinson and the Nasty Delicious. The Nasty Delicious. That is awesome. Thank you. Where did that name come from? Like, uh, did you see it on TV somewhere? Like, what, not did at you all. Just come it's, up with it's, it? uh, I came up with it. It's um, it's it's like you ever taste something so good that you made a face like. Oh. Like it was nasty. That, that's pretty much what it is. It's okay. like, damn. Ugh. We make you do like that with your face. You know? <laughs> so uh, that's what it is. All right. Now we have the name origin of this band, Craig Robinson and the Nasty Delicious. All right. So thank you for your time here, Craig Robinson. You're welcome. Uh, Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle is where we're at. He's got five shows, I believe, right? Yeah. Five shows. So all weekend. So uh, yeah, there you go. See you, Detroit. Thank you, and I love you. <laughs>